Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm David Goodman, and over there is John Lewandowski. Hi. Uh, is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 202 West Art Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Today was game one of the regular season for the Milwaukee Admirals playing against the Grand Rapids Griffins. Yep. All right. So shots on goal in the first period. Milwaukee outshot Grand Rapids 14 to 11. In the second period, Grand Rapids outshoots Milwaukee 8 to 6. In the third period, Milwaukee outshoots Grand Rapids 15 to 8. And in total, Milwaukee outshoots Grand Rapids 35 to 27. All right, Milwaukee, uh, for penalties uh, and power plays, they went 0 for 5 with 36 minutes, 10 infractions, while Grand Rapids uh, went 1 for 6 with 24 minutes, 9 infractions. Um, scoring in the first period, there was none. Scoring in the second period at the 8.08 mark for Grand Rapids, was Marco Casper scoring his first of the year, assisted by Dominic Shine and Watson, 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 their first of the year. And at the 15-16 mark, Carter Mazur scored his first of the year with an assist from William Wallander and Marco Casper. That was on the power play on a four-on-three. And Dominic Shine scores the empty net with a assist from Austin Watson at the 1945 mark in the third bat will do it. This is the first time the Admirals ever have been shut out. You know, in their season opener. Ever. <clears throat> what an amazing way to start our season. Feel like breaking out almost the old uh, Cleveland Indians from Major League Mm -hmm. Ugh. All right, your three stars of the game. Carter Mazur was the third star with a goal. Second star was Marco Casper with a goal and an assist. And first star was Sebastian Cosa with a shutout in net for the Admirals was Magnus Corona. Um, he stopped 24 of 26. He looked good, just they didn't do nothing right offensively. Yeah. Uh, Mutter had 20 penalty minutes. Um, Leroux had two. Angelo had two. Kevel had two. Graval had two. Del Kaiso had two. Schaefer uh, had six. What? I said Schaefer had six. Yeah. Schaefer was also a minus two. Um... Well, you're going to have to play better tomorrow or uh, it's going to, you're going to be digging yourself out of a hole early. Yeah. Because right after that, you got a week off and you're back at it in, in Rockford with a back to back. So for a lot of that. um, So as well as that for tomorrow, the Preds played the Detroit Red Wings, and the Admirals play the Wolves. Um, that being said, uh, Matt Murray was sent down, but I do not believe he made it in time, or they just went with what they had. Yeah. And... I don't know, but wasn't a whole lot to be enthused about. If we just want to watch the guys shoot 35 times and not score, I'll go to the bar. Just saying. Like, a lot of the shots were long-distance shots. They didn't seem like they could gain traction. They... Couldn't stay in the zone. It almost feels like watching the Preds yesterday in the first period. Right. So, um, 
That being said, uh, the admirals assign Nychuk to the Atlantic Gladiators today. Uh, he was a AHL signing defense mid. Um, what's your thoughts on what you heard? Um, definitely way too many penalty minutes. But, I mean, that's a given. Um, from what I heard, they, like you said, they couldn't stay uh, in the zone. And I didn't really hear anything come over the air. Maybe I missed it about, like, guys being in front for the rebound. It just seemed like they were too spread out at times. It's just there's a lot. And it's game one, I get it, but you guys have been playing together since the beginning of September. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. So, there's got to be some chemistry there. Some of you guys have played together in the past, some of you guys haven't. But they've, they've got to figure it out, and that's up to Carl Taylor now. Have we had bad starts to the year and turned it around? Of course. It's only one game, right? No. Yeah. I mean, what? We were in the middle of a pack and New Year's hit and we just flipped the switch and basically nobody could beat us. So I, I think it'll come down to a couple of things, but We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, We will be back on Tuesday the 15th. And that is the Preds versus... Uh, Seattle. Um, as we are both indisposed tomorrow. So we will see you all then. Um, I believe also um, on the Admirals home opener, we will be doing a triple. The Preds play that day at 1. Right. We play at 7 and Atlanta plays at 6. Right. So um, we'll see how that all works out. Yep, so that's that part um most likely tomorrow um you'll read that mutter will be getting a one game suspension for having two fights in one game um the one you could barely call a fight he kind of got jumped and he had to drop his gloves to protect himself the other one same thing which there's no instigating calls on either one of these or an additional roughing. Right. Like, it's not like he was going out of his way to pick these fights. He's just a very physical player. He skated by Watson and he just jumped him. Now, I know Watson likes to mix it up, but that's not the way we that we I watched him play when he was here. That was not the way he played. So, not exactly making any friends. Um, beyond that, I'd imagine Murray starts tomorrow, if not Murray Hater. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Um.
see you guys all on Tuesday.